This is just an update of the latest leaks and rumors of the DJI Mavic 3. And at the same time, also a test of my new audio setup. Where I'm using a Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun mic. It still seems that people have the impression that the, the new Mavic 3 will contain optical zoom. It's true that it has a dual camera, so there will basically be two sensors inside, where the top camera will be a half inch sensor and the bottom sensor will be micro four third. But as far as I can pick up, and I actually also kind of stumbled across it when I looked at the data sheet that was uh, provided by Jasper Elms, that uh, there was no zoom range included uh, next to the telephoto lens. My conclusion right now is that we will, of course have two cameras, wide one in the bottom and a telephoto in the top that is fixed on a specific focal length. That's a pretty, I was really looking forward to have some optical zoom in conjunction with a really powerful sensor. When I presented the pricing of the three models that are going to be released, which is going to be the standalone drone, the Fly More Combo, as well as a Cine version that includes ProRes support as well as a built-in one terabyte SSD, I made a lot of resistance. So I double checked with my source and he reconfirmed that the pricing that we will see is something like, let me just see here, standalone drone will be around 2,200 euro. The combo version will be around 3,000 euro and the Cine version will clock in at a whopping 4,800 euro. He reconfirmed this would be the price level for Europe. Now we're talking prices. We can't talk prices without availability. When is the drone going to be announced? There's been some rumors surfacing that it will be available from already October 20th this month. I find that very hard to believe because we haven't seen any filings for the FCC database. What is the FCC database? This is a database of the approvals that is needed for any electronic products that are going to be sold on the American market. This database is public and provides a solid evidence that a new product is coming up very soon. This normally happens between 10 and 15 days before the product is being announced. And as we haven't seen that yet, I find it very hard to believe that we will see it around that date. I've been discussing with Jasper Elms, which is a good friend of the channel that has provided some really solid information in the past uh, when a possible release date could be. And his guess is that it will be early November for not to miss out on the holiday sales. So two dates are in play. So it's November 4th and November 9th. But again, I promise to mention that this is not confirmed. In case you're not following Jasper Allens already on Twitter and the DJI Mavic 3 Leaks group on Facebook, I've included links in the description below in case that you want to do that. So I put out a video where I was discussing sort of the problem with the no seal labeling. But let's say that they happen to pull a seal label or seal mark out of the hat and actually equip the drone with that one. We have another problem and that is that the drone weighs 920 grams which is 20 grams more than uh, what is uh, sort of the limit to be able to position it in the A2 uh, airspace. And for those of you that are not familiar with the new drone rules that are going to be effectuated after the 31st of December 2022, I can tell you that the A2 airspace will allow you to fly close to people and in urban areas. The additional 20 grams will make it go into the A3 category, which basically renders the drone useless as you're not allowed to fly in urban areas and only allowed to fly far away from people. Opposed to fixing the CMARC, which is basically not up to DJI, but up to the EU Commission to make sure that the system is in place to be able to do so. The weight can actually be fixed by DJI. And there were some pretty clever suggestions on the previous video that they can just do like they have done with the Mini 2 for the Japanese market. There were some pretty strict weight restrictions in Japan. So the Japanese version of the Mini 2 is actually equipped with another battery that will make sure that it stays below the 200 gram limit, which is the requirement there. DJI could do the exact same thing with the Mavic 3 and equip it with a battery that will make it lighter. Also, while I was talking to Jasper, I mentioned the Mini 3, but according to his sources, there is nothing to be found around a Mavic 3 being available in this year. So this was the summary of the latest that I could dig up around the Mavic 3. If you have heard anything else, then feel free to drop that in the comments below and I can do a follow-up video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.